Next concept to analyze is surely the um, UN dollar Japanese yen. We can see that after consolidation between 115.50, this is a resistance level. Let's make it uh, red. After consolidation, the pair is actively testing the levels below 112.35. This is a uh, Fibonacci level, and this is uh, the area of the recent lows. And decline below 112 uh, will lead to the pairs falling uh, towards 110. 110 and 38.2% uh, Fibonacci at 109.20. It's a very interesting situation about what is happening in uh, Japan. Uh, the yen has strengthened in the course of past week, mainly on the weakness of the US dollar. And the Bank of Japan had a really, really hard job. Uh, it refused to change its monetary policy stance on Tuesday, and um, it remained fairly committed to its yield curve control target. On Friday, uh, it worked up a threat to fulfill its pledge to keep the yields at targeted levels. And market participants believe that the central bank will continue buying a limited amount of bonds to reach its 2% inflation target. So uh, we can expect that there will be many ups and downs ahead with investors rushing into selling the US dollar on the risk averse sentiment and the Bank of Japan's officials striving to devaluate the yen with their bond purchases. So we have this downside scenario for dollar yen in mind, but we think that um, its way to the downside will be uh, bumpy because of uh, the actions of the Bank of Japan. This week, US dollar will continue to be the main driver of the pair. Um, Traders should focus on the U.S. trade balance data, uh, U.S. labor market figures, and probably one of the biggest events of the week will be the meeting of the U.S. President Donald Trump and Japan's Prime Minister Abe, which is scheduled for February the 10th. It's Friday. Uh, according to many analysts, it should bring some uh, gains to the U.S. dollar in the meeting. Uh, probably uh, Japan will try to be friendly with Trump and unveil some plans to invest in the United States. This will be beneficial for the US dollar. But if in case Trump and Arbor um, are unable to produce a kind of consensus, a kind of feeling of mutual respect and um, cooperation between the U.S. and Japan, then uh, we'll likely see Japanese yen strengthen on the market's risk aversion. Towards the end of the week, market participants will be waiting for U.S. unemployment claims and preliminary consumer sentiment index uh, published by the University of Michigan. So we won't see uh, any significant market moving events from Japan. Uh, the weekly chart shows us that um, the pair uh, closed below 100 week moving average around 114.38. This is uh, now the main resistance for this week on the upside and uh, let's wait for some confirmation that the pair is, uh, has broken below 112.35 to target um, lower levels uh, for this pair. Um, yeah, here is uh, the daily chart with uh, Ishimoku Cloud here. 
we can see that dollar yen is in the middle of the Ishimoku cloud on the daily chart. And it commonly happens that once the pair has um, reached the middle of the cloud, it uh, continues its way uh, to the uh, opposite border of this cloud. And in this case, we are talking about um, levels in the area of 109.87. Well, there were many uh, negative forecasts for dollar yen, uh, long term forecasts like um, the forecast from Mr. Yen, uh, Mr. Sakakibara, who is familiar with the Bank of Japan's policy. And he also says that. Um, Donald Trump is the big risk for the U.S. dollar, that markets will be risk averse because of his policy, and this will make yen strengthen. I think that uh, the current situation offers us a good risk-reward ratio to sell uh, the U.S. dollar versus Japanese yen. If uh, targets around the bottom of the daily smoke cloud, around 109, Point ninety three, and um, we can also look at the weekly pivot levels for this pair. Uh, applying the pivot point multi time frame indicator for MT four, and um, here are the levels proposed by. Um, the program they point at support at 111.44 and uh, 110.29 while resistance is at 115.20 uh, and 114.33 so uh, it doesn't really matter what levels you choose uh, the picture looks more negative for the uh, dollar yen probably we can draw the trend line here as well um significant resistance is in the area of 114 for this currency 